What would happen if a blazing fireball streaked across her yard and exploded like a bomb? Well, that seemingly crazy scenario just happened a few days ago in the United States. At noon on June 26, 2025, a bright fireball shot across the sky in the southern U.S. and exploded like a bomb, leaving residents in shock. Emergency phone lines were flooded with calls. Hundreds of people reported seeing the fireball in confusion and fear. One resident reported that a meteorite fragment crashed into their home, piercing through the roof and ceiling before hitting the ground and cracking the floor inside. Fortunately, no one was injured. According to NASA, the culprit this time was a meteor weighing around one ton. As it entered Earth's atmosphere, it ignited into a fireball and broke apart into smaller fragments before hitting the ground. So, where did this fireball come from? And why didn't NASA's monitoring and warning systems detect it before it struck Earth? Let's find out together. At around 11.51 a.m. local time on June 26, 2025, a fireball suddenly appeared in the sky over several southern U.S. states, including areas along the border of North Carolina and Virginia. The bright streak of light immediately caught the attention of the public. Many people quickly pulled out their phones to capture the strange moment. The unusual flash was also recorded by dash cams in vehicles and surveillance cameras. Brenda Eckerd, 64, from Gilbert, South Carolina, said she was driving home when she saw a big flash in the sky shoot down and disappear. At first, she thought it was a meteor, it looked almost like fireworks. Eckerd then called her husband to check if their house was still intact, and luckily, everything was fine. According to witnesses, after passing through the sky, the object exploded like a bomb, creating a sonic boom that echoed across the region. Authorities received around 130 phone calls from multiple states across the U.S., reporting sightings of the strange fireball phenomenon. According to reports, a resident in McDonough, about 50 kilometers south of Atlanta, Georgia, said a suspected meteor fragment pierced through their roof and ceiling before striking the ground and cracking the floor inside the house. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident. These are images of the ceiling damaged by the uninvited guest. As you can see, the meteorite fragment is quite small only about the size of a pebble yet it punched through the ceiling, showing that it must have hit with tremendous speed. Residents were left deeply shocked and confused, unsure of what had just happened. Some people thought it might have been an earthquake, a plane crash, space debris, or another serious natural disaster. Most, however, believed it was a meteorite. And sure enough, experts have confirmed it was indeed a meteor. According to Bill Cook, a representative from NASA, the strange object was a meteor weighing over one ton. It entered Earth's atmosphere at a speed of up to 48,000 km per hour, or about 13.3 km per second. That's an incredibly high speed. To put it into perspective, a car driving on the highway typically goes around 100 km per hour. This meteor was 480 times faster than that. Even compared to a commercial airplane flying at about 900 km per hour, the meteor was more than 53 times faster. Cook added that the meteor was first detected at an altitude of about 77 kilometers above the town of Oxford, Georgia. It began to break apart at around 43 kilometers altitude, near the area of West Forest, Georgia. He said, the meteor released energy with a destructive force equal to 20 tons of TNT as it broke apart in the atmosphere, creating shock waves that reached the ground and produced the loud boom heard by many. It remains unclear whether the entire fireball burned up in the atmosphere or if other pieces made it to the surface. Still, confirming that it was a meteorite is an exciting result especially for the family whose roof and ceiling were damaged by the impact.
meteorites not only have scientific value, but they can also be sold for very high prices. According to meteorite collectors, the cheapest types made entirely of stone are valued between 50 cents and $5 per gram. But rare metallic meteorites can be worth up to $1,000 per gram. So if the piece that hit that family's home turns out to be metallic, then even though it's small, it could be worth more than gold like a cosmic way of paying for the damage it caused. NASA is currently analyzing and investigating whether any other fragments might have fallen to the ground. Such searches need to happen as soon as possible to prevent the meteorite from being contaminated by Earth's environment. A search like this could last from several days to even a few weeks. NASA has warned the public not to touch or handle any suspicious objects that might be meteorites. But let's be honest few people could resist the lure of a space rock that might just change their lives. So even without scientists calling for help, I'm sure that many people, while out walking, will be looking down more carefully than usual because who knows, they might just get lucky. After the meteorite event, many people began to wonder why NASA and other scientific organizations had no prior detection or warning about the meteor that fell on June 26, 2025. Many scientists believe it's because the meteor was relatively small. Typically, small meteors burn up in the atmosphere before reaching the ground. That's why planetary defense systems often fail to detect them. NASA and planetary defense organizations mainly track large asteroids that pose a threat to life on Earth. As for these smaller meteors, they are extremely hard to monitor. In most cases, we only know they exist once they enter Earth's atmosphere. Back in January last year, a similar fireball named 2024BXI exploded in the sky over Berlin, Germany. After the event, astronomers suspected that some fragments may have survived the fall and reached the ground. So, a team of researchers from the Museum of Natural History in Germany bravely went out to search for meteorite pieces. After days of hiking, Trekking through forests and streams, they finally discovered the fragments. The recovered pieces weighed 5.3 grams and 3.1 grams respectively. What's special is that these meteorites contained extremely rare elements and were as old as our solar system itself. I truly hope that scientists in the US or maybe even a lucky citizen will find something just as special. This American event differs from last year's in one key way. It happened during the daytime, and many people saw it for sand. That makes locating and recovering any fragments much easier. Seeing a fireball in broad daylight, and hearing a sonic boom, is a rare phenomenon. For a fireball to be visible during the day, it must be significantly brighter than those seen at night. Normally, a nighttime fireball only needs to reach a magnitude of minus for to be clearly visible. But during the day, the brightness must be much greater. The fireball seen on June 26, 2025, in the US had an apparent magnitude of minus 14 brighter than the full moon which is why so many people were able to witness it. How about you? Have you ever seen a fireball streak across the sky with your own eyes? Leave a comment below to share your story with everyone. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to catch more exciting and fascinating videos. See you next time.